With marijuana legalized in two states, many speculate when it'll be legalized throughout the entire country. Dr. Lester Grinspoon breaks it down for us. Um, we are here with Associate Professor Emeritus of Psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, Dr. Lester Grinspoon. Thank you, Doctor, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. Um, now, you've been involved in you know, the legalization of marijuana and, and the whole topic of it for a number of years now, I think uh, 46 years at, at this time. I think that's probably about right. About right, yeah. So it's been a, it's been a while. Um, do you believe that the government has misled us about the you know the misconceptions and the understandings about cannabis? Absolutely. It's been a very costly uh, mistake on the part of the U.S. government. Uh, Congress uh, began the campaign against marijuana with the appointment of Harry Anderson as the first uh, director of the uh, what was then called the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. Uh, and through a number of iterations became the Drug Enforcement Administration. Now, um, they, uh, in fact, it's a model of how a bill uh, passes through Congress without any significant testimony, other so-called educational material from the government. Uh, they've established over all these years, joined by the, uh, the Drug Free America business and the other anti-drug, to create a view of marijuana as a very addicting, uh, harm, physiologically harmful, harm to brain, but also leads to murder and mayhem. If you saw that, <laughs> you can see all the things that they uh, And it, it's just been extraordinary the process of helping people to come to realize that this is not the, the drug that was presented in Reef of Animals. This is not a scourge. It's closer to a blessing, uh, given what it can do in three areas. One, recreation. I think it's the best recreational drug. You don't get a hangover. You don't, you don't it's violent, it's used as a medicine, it still is, I should say, right up to now, is growing exponentially. And I think what has corrected the view of a lot of people about marijuana is to see a relative or a friend who's using it for the nausea of chemotherapy or the pain of osteoarthritis or the treatment of Crohn's disease or epilepsy or what have you, and seeing it used as a medicine. Now, do you believe that the government has misrepresented this, this, you know, this plant, this harm? Because yeah, at, at this point, it's it's still, you know, a Schedule One drug. Um, it has no accepted medical use. Well, Schedule One means no accepted medical use, high capacity, high abusability, high capacity for abuse, and the third can't even be used safely under the supervision of a physician. There are three criteria to it. There is third. It's absolutely absurd. Did, now, you yourself testified against Congress. Did you find any positivity or, or you know, perseverance going forward with that? Well, I testified uh, uh, before I was on many occasions. I was in many states, and it was always uh, an uphill. Do you believe it will be a year or two or so before prohibition ends? Because I know, you know, a number of years ago, uh, in in your book, you wrote that you know it was going to take about ten years. <laughs> well, that's, that's a funny that's a funny story because you know uh, my closest friend was Carl Sagan. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, and we used to read each other's manuscripts before we published. He read the manuscript for now, and he said, he said, Lester, that's a great book, but you made one big mistake." What's that? You said it's going to take 10 years before we get rid of this. This is not it's public. It's going to take 10 years before the prohibition is gone. And I said, what, what do you think I should have said? You should have said two years at the most. Do you do you believe the the war on drugs in total has has failed this country in terms of the you know the, the mo amount of money spent? In it's been a disaster. Uh, if you mentioned the money. Do you think that um, Marinol, you know, with it, its synthetic cannabinoids, 
have any sort of the same effect as, as marijuana? Yeah, there are a number of them. Marinol is one, sesame is another. I think that that's, you know, a big problem that people, there are a lot of people, even medically, that could use it that don't because they're, you know, di dissuaded from the fact that it's illegal. Um, so we appreciate you, again, taking your time out of your day, and uh, we appreciate everything you've done for, you know, legalization of marijuana. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.